Kate used to talk about integer sequence, and now we can make it easier and less boilerplate. -y. So this is our problem. Our problem is that we want to enumerate a variety pack of arguments and also have an index available at compile time. So we want to have this print with index. We call enumerate. We get an integral constant i and the x argument that's part of the pack by calling enumerate with xs. And then it will print out, for example, if we pass hello 42 and x uh, index and the thing. Uh, the job here is we want to implement enumerate. So how do we do that? First implementation is the following. We take enumerate, it takes a function that will be executed for each argument in the pack, the pack itself. Then we call enumerate impl, which is some sort of indirection. We pass an index sequence for that, and then we forward everything to that. Enumerate impl will take the index sequence. We can match the indices with a pack over here, and then we can use a fold expression over the comma operator to call f with the integral constant and forwarding all the things. So this works, it's verbose, though we need to have two functions, and the user syntax is annoying because the integral, the integral constant is going to be part of the normal runtime argument, so it might, yeah, you might have to use decal type to get what you want. Second solution is we can make the, the user syntax match nicer by using plus 20 or 10 by lambdas. In this case, we can have enumerate, accept this lambda over here, where the x is the actual argument and the index is going to be part of the template parameters. So this is nicer because it makes it obvious that i is compile time and you can use it without using decal type. And the way we do that is by simply changing enumerate impl to do the same fold over the com operator, but then we call dot template operator. So we basically call the call operator of the closure generated by the lambda expression, which is a template. So we can pass the index over here and pass the argument there. So this is nicer, but can we use the same trick to avoid the entirety of enumerate impl? Can we avoid the indirection? The answer is yes. What we can do is we can re-implement enumerate like this. And what we do is basically have a lambda that allows us to match the indices inside the index sequence. We immediately invoke the lambda, creating the index sequence on the spot for those arguments. And we match it by taking it as an argument. So is is now a pack that we can use inside the body of the lambda. And inside the body of the lambda, we can use the fold expression that was in the other function first. So now we can do this kind of expansion on in index sequence or any arbitrary pack in place by using C++ 20 done by lambdas as they pr allow us to have everything local in the same function body. This is great, is a wor working solution, but can we do better in the future? So we have this proposal, by, it's called ex expansion statements. What it does is basically it is for dot dot dot. It takes something that can be destructured with structured bindings, and then it copy pastes the body of this for loop n times for each element inside those that thing. For example, for the tuple, it's going to expand to something like SDC out of get zero, get one, get two. So if anything binds to structured bindings, we can use this expansion statement with this. It also has been approved the EWG in Kona, so we're going to have that in 20, I think. So does this work if we want to use a index sequence with that? No, it doesn't because index sequence is not decomposable. But that's just a very weird limitation. Can we actually make index sequence decomposable? Yes, we can. We simply create a new index sequence where we implement the customization points for the structured bindings. So we need a get tuple size, tuple element, and then we can destruct the index sequence by using structure bindings. And once we have that, then enumerate can be written like this. You can simply have a tuple that forwards all the arguments. Then you iterate over the index sequence created with the argument using an expansion statement. And inside the body of the expansion statement, you simply call the temp template operator as before. So we avoid the lambda, we avoid that indirection. And I'm working with Alistair Meredith to make this possible, so it's going to be simple library change proposal where we make integer sequence decomposable. And that was, I think, his idea, so I don't want to take the credit. It's mostly due to Alistair. So it's very likely to be in 20 or 23. Other cool thing, there's another proposal called Structure Bindings can introduce a pack, and EWGI has seen it, but he wants to see it again, so maybe we'll make it in. And the, the interesting part is that you can have a structure binding declaration with dot, dot, dot like this, and then whatever binds to the structure bindings will introduce a pack that you can use in the current scope. So in this case, you have an index sequence for your arguments. You bind those to IS, and then you can use IS in that body uh, as if you already had a pack. So you just generate a pack out of nowhere. This is my favorite solution, but I'm not that confident that it will be in 2023 or ever in C++, but I can dream. And that's it. Thank you.